Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Star Wars Executor Mod for Hearts of Iron Foremost. Mr. Grand Admiral Thrawn Lover, but did you know, he's a tactical genius. But we're doing Navy Reorganization 3. Thrawn's naval doctrine slowly began to flush throughout the various ranks and ships of the Imperial military. The Navy's never once been its strongest, nor its most competent, before, not since before the Cologne Wars. With this shift, Yularen will oversee the Imperial Navy alongside Thrawn as both are acting Grand Admirals. Air Reorganization 1 phase. Imperial Starfighter Corps is much displeased Thrawn due to various levels of piloting, uh, pilot training. Thrawn will see to it that the Starfighter Corps will strongly focus on training its existing pilots while slowing down its recruitment process to ensure every pilot is a capable pilot. As you can see, we are doing okay against the Soviet Union, and we're just kind of pushing through here, so... Hope you like the change of the thumbnail, because uh, I figured, you know what, we have Thrawn now. And let's do Thrawn a good service here, so... Other than that, uh, we have our soldiers over here too, and they're kind of tired, but... Uh, you know what, we have allies guarding this area, so you know what, we'll just push this way. Let's try to link up our forces here like this. See what we can do. Um, so have 12 divisions here being created. Some more Stormer Trooper... Oh my god. Storm Trooper soldiers over there as well. They get attacked, they get attacked, but whatever, you know, doesn't matter. <clears throat> what I really want to do is get down to the War with the Rebel Alliance, so... Oh, we're down here too, I guess. Hello. Yeah, that over there. Uh, for you guys, I want you over here. Another three divisions, eh? Nice. Lord Vader will be most pleased. And with that, if you also want to go to Who do you want to go to war next? You gun people's republic? Okay, sure, why not? Yeah, thanks, America. We'll take some guns. I guess we need more infantry equipment then. Tanks are okay. <coughs> Air reorganization phase two. Starfighter Corps will become a more stable and capable force, no longer trying to rely upon sheer numbers out it combat its opponents. Though many also join and undergo training. The Ron's new training program has increased the performance of pilots by a considerable uh, average will continue to do so in phase three. The Ron's Institute's final doctrinal, doctrinal changes into the Starfighter Corps, ensuring that they properly support ground and naval forces to the best of their abilities, pulling many tactics from the Rebels' playbook. Uh, Imperial Air Spirit will be now proportionally uh, rival even the Rebel Alliance pilots and aces. Oh, we'll see. I'll grab that one right now. Agent got stuck, huh? I'll we'll continue doing this. Pair. Yes. Please. Kenya? Nah, I don't think they deserve to breed him yet. <clears throat> but concentrating our divisions here, we should do okay. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, on, uh, some, but we do some comes to go through as well. Such as, as we get through this part, we don't build this up anymore. We just build up like a bunch of random like, infrastructure or railroads here. Yeah, we can. Is that ours or theirs? That's theirs. Huh. That's fine. Oh. Great birds over there, too. Oh, he killed off. Oh, the war's not glitched. Not that many, honestly. Air reorganization one, two, and three would be nice. Pushing through here to get down through here it would be the ideal. Um, so we'll do that, and then I'll send the soldiers back up north and help, they'll help take out some more divisions up here, too. Yeah, go right there too. You might as well, right? Yeah, might as well. Hmm, I mean, war sport? Not really. Hmm, political actions. Region wide integration? Sure, why not? Give Saudi new leaders? Sure, why not? I know, we're very generous here. Super, super generous. That's what concluded. Uh, I hope you downloaded the model for the ship. I don't think I did. My bad. Yeah, it, we don't have the ship model. My bad. Um, so it uh, says, you should play as Revisionist Zukov, Kostichin, Revisionist Path, 4000 Week Reich. Uh, yeah, it's already on the channel, so. Let's see, anything here, here, for five. We went Grand Battle Plan, so we want to go with what? It was Blitz on Elastic Defense. Infiltration is fine with me. That seems very fitting for us. 
C5. Mod Terek. <clears throat> Someone else says, I wonder if we could see the one with Darth Vader leading instead of Tarkin. Been wishing for that one. I don't think that content's done yet, I think, maybe? So. Someone says, who will you play as next? The Rebel Alliance or uh, Vader or the CIS? Well, I don't think there's any clones here, so I don't think we'll play as a clones, unfortunately. Even though that'd be a lot of fun. So. Uh, do we rescue them? Yeah, maybe. Perhaps, maybe. Maybe, maybe. But we're going to keep working against the Soviet Union. And then a grand army for the new unified body. The Imperial military was once part of the Republic, where it was comprised of clone troopers and once called Grand Army of the Republic. The Imperial military has been successfully reorganized into a ca capable fighting force and no longer adheres to its previous doctrines, but to new leadership. Thrawn Taos is an army that was built on Earth and should foremost protect Earth from within and without. Awesome. And then redefining the Imperial government. The Imperial government's radical laws and policies displease the Thrawn greatly have experienced firsthand the bigotry and discrimination of the Empire. The Thrawn will redefine the Imperial government into something that is no longer in fear, but valued by the hearts of all citizens and those who are not within the Empire as well. And, as you can see on screen, we are still trying to defeat the Soviet Union. My god, does it take forever, but, uh, yeah. On that, we're just affording in China's independence. China's been a country at always at odds with many enemies within and without. Thrawn wishes for the Chinese people to be united under a strong ruling body, so it will fully support the Republic of China. Help China unify. A Imperial government can aid the Republic of China to dealing with its various warlords which surround our borders. Thrawn will send military and government aid to help Chiang Kai-shek in annexing the Chinese territory into one unified body, even though... I think he's dead. Japan's uh, position in the Pacific. Japan has been touted as the land of the rising sun, but her ambitions are divided among her people. A young officer Ku was trampled out by the senior officers years ago. There are those who still feel betrayed or betrayed within their hearts and not all in line with the total war against various powers. We can aid the Japanese people populace towards the new government and that is better for all in the Pacific. Yes. It's almost 43, so... It's Galactic Technology, we're all done with it, which is nice. Uh, let's go over here, why not? Two days left for this one. Uh, 43, okay, sure, nuclear reactors. I think by now we'd have nuclear reactors done, but my god, the game is lagging so hard when you try to defeat the Soviet Union, it's really bad. But, build new infrastructure in Africa. Thrawn wishes to construct a vast network of advanced infrastructure to quick start an economic boom within Northern Africa. The project would demand a lot out of the Imperial Engineering Corps, but will prove to benefit the Imperial government in the long term. New workspaces and jobs. Thrawn's economic plan for Africa has always seen much success. A vast array of new workspaces and jobs appeared across the territories of more people will soon immigrate towards the Imperial government for a great work life. Introduced galactic tools and industry in Africa. Terraforming was common throughout the galaxy to turn inhospitable and an inhabitable terrain into fully livable environments. The of the Imperial Engineering Corps had through the various territories to construct vast lands for assistance of the Imperial government. Wow. <clears throat> Even Cairo becomes an urban type of place. Eastern desert. Well, oh, is this over here? Imperial Iraq has been lowered a little bit more as you can sell, sell, tell. Uh, Saudi Arabia became a military region bash and now under our colors. And they haven't changed either yet, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. Nice, we're done with the air doctrine, we should be. And more some troopers, yes. Yes. My god, it, it just takes so long. But we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Uh, very good. <coughs> Excuse me. But we are lacking a lot of guns. Yeah. But that's probably be partially because we make a lot of divisions. There you go. Now we need less guns. Um, we can make some ship stuff. We can get some tire frames. Get some of that as well. Uh, let's actually take a look at China real quick as it came. Oh, never mind. Oh, Wang Jing Wei is still over here. They're a puppet or protectorate of China. Yeah, tire frames are nice. Tie defender frames. Ooh. Eighty-two days. Yeah, why not? So, with our focuses, oh, they just annexed what could have been all the other Chinese states, but they don't exist anymore. Japan's doing very well at well, being Japan, I guess. So, the Germans uh, have, they have a civil war. Yeah, maybe I should let this on historical. There is a Galactic Empire. We're actually doing really well down here, too. So, I just don't know how strong the Rebel Alliance is. I mean, they're led by Luke Skywalker. They got a lot of buffs themselves, like we do. Sweden's gone. <clears throat> Expanding diplomacy. Luke Skywalker's command, which is pretty decent, looks like. Rebel base designs, which is pretty good, very good for defense. Very good. It's gonna be hard to crack into them. Static like air, new Yavin base. It's okay. A rebel were born. Oh, oh, that's fine. Oh, I shouldn't have read the other one. Put Veterans of the Spanish. Oh, the Spanish War, huh? More weekly manpower, huh? Home one. 
Okay. Small industry is not good. Rogue Squadron is pretty decent, too. The Rebel Army. Training time goes up a little bit more. Experience soldiers' losses goes down. Reinforcement is pretty nice. Uh, a Rebel Alliance Intelligence is very good. Rebel Supply and Logistics, not bad. They have a Rebel LAAT Supply. Research Sharing Program. Well, we have, we're very good relations with them. Huh, they have quite, quite a few divisions. We're being such, you know, landlocked in a small little area here. <clears throat> Italy's leadership removed. Mussolini's Italy has orchestrated much strife throughout the Mediterranean region of this planet and has been directly involved in many issues plaguing the planet. The Rome will first strike at the root of the problem by removing Mussolini's government from Italy. With Mussolini removed, Italy can pro prosper under a healthy form of government. Speaking with, with the Allied powers, well, which don't really exist anymore, but Allied powers, once known as the League of Nations, were quickly formed together to combat the Axis powers, which had formed due to the German Reich's pursuit of global dominance. The Rome knows it cannot progress with his plans of aiding this plan without first speaking with the Allied powers on his plans. And now I'm back with him, huh? Oh well. We're in Germany of its disease. With Allied powers in line with Thrawn's plans to aid this planet, uh, Thrawn's focus can shift to combating the disease that plagues the German people. He'll cut off the head of the snake and free the German body. A new government for all. The Galactic Empire is no longer being touted as an empire, but something else. Many begin speaking to it as the imperial government and body. There's going to be a word from Thrawn on if the empire will receive a new name, but the hearts of many will. But within the hearts of many, it no longer is a government to hear fear, but to be inspired by. A new government of for all, for of those who seem to see whom to seek a unified life. Well, Giant didn't really benefit from that at all, but whatever. And then there's the Ascendancy. <clears throat> Many imperial citizens are questioning the name of the Galactic Empire and subsequent baggage. The Thrones know that the Galactic Empire no longer acts as an empire, but a unified body that serves the well being of not just of all citizens. The Thrones decided officially to name the imperial government and the Galactic Empire the Earth Ascendancy, honoring his home while leaving the empire behind. So you know, they can do fear the rebellion, war with the rebellion, or coalition with them. I think for the first time we do this, we have to probably go war with the Rebellion. Fate of the Rebellion. The Orlog may have it, or whether it would be the Well of the Force, the Rebels also happen to crash upon Earth by alongside the Empire. With Tarkin's removal from leadership, Vader's withdrawal and sparse appearances, Rebellion has begun to believe Thrawn's leadership to be for the better. Rebellion is open to dialogue with Thrawn. Or just war with them. The dialogue with the Rebellion is broken, tends to ramp it once again. The Earth that since he wants the Galactic Empire cannot coexist with the Rebel Alliance, a foe within this world. One final war must happen, whether it be for the good all in, of all on Earth or not at all. Thrawn has remained silent, but is clearly disappointed in the current state of affairs and carried immediate plans for war. Well, will bypass initial war with the Rebellion focus will allow the Empire to instigate the continued Galactic Civil War conflict. Well, we'll see. We do have our elite stormtroopers on the board at all times. How are they getting more territory from us? Bruh. There's no way we'd give them more territory. And just because they can do more focuses and what... Could do fun. Blue now, huh? They're just taking the focuses and give them more tiles now, at this point. Sudan seeks independence. Yeah, no, bro. That's not cool to us. Even though we did get whatever we wanted to, but still. Um, they're still doing focuses. Because we are too, technically. But Rogue Squadron. Battleship. Alliance Pathfinders. So. Faster we can kill them, the better. Preparing for the Empire, huh? Uh, it's not complete alternative solutions because we're considered the Earth Ascendancy. Lots of locals. Well, it's better to go to war now than later. Before they can take any more territory from us illegally, which is god awful. Just so stupid. I like, one thing can take it away from, like, the Earth Nations, but, like, from us? Like, bro? The Rebel Alliance is attacking, or they are attacking. War of the Rebellion. Ah. Galactic uh, Civil War continued. Or just straight go to war with many ways. Oh, come on. That's so unfair. Look at that. What the heck? That's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. <sighs> Bruh. They don't deserve any of that. They didn't. Wait, what? Come on. That is so stupid. Move, 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 move. Just go to war with them. Kill them all off. Also, we do have some people invading through here too, but whatever. Uh... Parts of this were very stupid. Yeah, actually, do we not get the separate for them? 
No, we do not. No, that's sad. Come on. So us versus them. A lot of losses. How dare you take our tiles away from us? How dare you? <clears throat> a long war of attrition? Probably not. In all honesty, striking fast and swift would probably be what we want to do. <coughs> striking fast, we'll get to the rebellion forces we shall face in the early battles. Encircling and capturing as many divisions of the rebels will can ensure decisive strike in the early stages of the war. Yeah, it'd be nice. Advancement. It's supposed to be a big old drawn out thing. I don't think it's going to be very big and drawn out. I could be wrong though. I could be very wrong. How strong are these guys? Democratic a million member? That's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of stuff here too, so we'll see. Using the best of the best soldiers that we have right now. Uh, there you go. Agent captured, that sucks. Ah, he's got to cut off. Been wounded, okay. Oh, I'd go all in Germany, why not? Oh well. Not super concerned about it right now. These guys will all die down there. Uh, we're struggling down here a little bit, though. Ah, seven divisions, yeah, that's quite a few. A few too many. Looks like they don't have a lot of equipment, though. Perhaps. Hmm. Alright. Supplies to the war. Supplying war against re rebellion will require vast quantities of equipment and food for the troops in the front. We need to procure an entire logistics branch dedicated to the role. Or advance. Continue to advance time. Yeah. Better supply consumption, I guess. Because this will help us with organization loss, division speed, uh, nightland attack, coordination, and whatnot, so. Ah, new Yavin's gonna, so, gonna die. As that has to. Oh, new Yavin's right here. Yeah, it's all one tile. Striking fast and swift. Oh, now the rebels are dead. Why do we? What? Why can't we take everything they own? Bruh. Is that not everything? Well, there go the rebels. Um, I wish we could have gotten through here, but you know. Field hospitals, bolstering defense strategy, offensive strategy, supplies for the war again, some include supply range, advancements, expand combat medic personnel, expand field hospitals, the continued galactic war final operations, massive defensive measures. I'll let the time go on, I guess. Or attack and defense. Uh, final medical measures, that's pretty decent too. Final supply measures, not bad. For the Empire. Long live the Empire. The Aftermath. Well, I'll take that focus to see if there's anything there. If not, well then, I guess there's not, you know. <laughs> that supply is lacking just a little bit around here, but... Uh, yeah, that supply's really bad. And I did build this area up quite a bit already. From what we did own earlier. Uh, we'll see just a little well, bit. Well, everyone, um, nothing really happened with that focus. With the Earth Ascendancy... Um, and the work, the mod is still in a work in progress, but I guess that's going to be it for us. Um, I could have taken out everyone else, but like, eh, I don't know. That'd be a lot of time, and I don't really feel like doing that, so. If you enjoyed the campaign, then leave a like, and subscribe if you're new. Check out my description link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great Thrawn rest of your day.